want to come and see you guys uh, next advanced prediction that we see that um just drop again we give you the crazy gunman um in political rallies we give you biden we give you senator mendez now we come back again now we give it christina hack um we talk about her in my in, in my celebrity blog in my november 2021 over two years ago i told you guys straight up again when you guys want to know something in advance you come to the spiritual fixer nobody else you know, you want to get the real stuff. This is no fluff stuff and guessing stuff, you know. All right. We told you guys straight up back in my um, November 2020, um, 2021 celebrity blog is, is there. I told you I see Christina and Joshua Hall are not a good match and they will break up in the near future. And you see again, this is a third marriage, you know. A lot of people might be saying, I wonder if there's something wrong with Christina and different things. Like, yeah, she have 50% um, some, some things she need to deal with, but we're not going to go into the people's business. Because that's how we roll over here. But um, she and Joshua, they're, they're a good match. You know what I mean? She's a Vogel. She's a Cancer. And um, they were a good match. But I never really look at the chart or anything like that. But just looking at Christina, we can tell she has some issues, personal issues and different things like that. And I see she's going to move on and find someone else again. Because you know sometimes when coming to my Cancers, cancers some Cancers kind of stay long without someone. They can become across as a little bit needy sometimes. No offense. I love, I love my Cancers. And, um, you know, I have a lot of you guys as clients, so, it's, so don't get offended or anything like that. And happy birthday to all my, um, who's still celebrating cancer season. I know Paris, your birthday coming up. Um, a lot of people, but still coming up soon. Um, this week, this weekend coming here. So this is the end for, um, all my cancers, you know, and happy birthday to all my, um, Leos, my July Leos coming in. So I know Amy, you celebrate anybody. Happy birthday to you. Got you. And um, more power to you and all my um, all my Leos also to come in. Also July July Leos. Um, I know you guys love all the attention, love a lot of stuff. It's okay. Love you guys. And um, I know my we'll talk about um the the, the August Leos. We'll talk about them later now. All right. So happy birthday to all the um end end of um the, the end end of my cancers who, who who coming out here and all that you guys celebrating your birthday. So happy birthday and um we know the July Leos coming in. Um, happy birthday to you guys, you know. Yeah, so again, you know, Christina, she's part of the problem, but I'm not going to blame her because I know how my Vogos, I know how Vogel men could be sometimes, you know. So, but this was destined to fail, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, sometimes you have to take stock. And again, this this is a next, a next situation again where I try to tell you guys, you need to check with your spiritual advisor, the right spiritual advisor, not nobody that's throwing out stuff and fluff and guessing stuff. Talk about someone who have it naturally. That can watch that person 30 minutes and tell you without even looking at a chart, without even looking at the astrology chart. I can tell you in 30 minutes that if that man is not for you or not. I've done it many times. I've known a lot of you guys personally. Um, I, I get to know a lot of you guys personally over the years. I have told so much people, whether it's VIP, small P, whatever it is. I told you guys many times to steer from certain men. I have, I have people that I love dearly. I tell them to stay from certain men. They go on with the suits and with the men. They nearly get a debt. They nearly get a debt. Many times, I'm telling you. Tell them stay from this man. Do not mess with this man. This man have mental problems. If not well, they're still going in. And that's how some, some people are. You know, while now I have some people also too. You tell them stay from certain man, whatever it is, they don't get. And that's the problem with us, with my people of color. Why normal Asians, um, Spanish, and, and white people and everybody just listen? Something wrong with some of us. We just get involved emotionally, then come checking me to get a reading. Wait, you want me to tell you? You already don't scream with the man. You already get some kind of emotional attachment. And sometimes a lot of us will be scared to be alone. Some of us just feel because the man hollering at you, you might be feeling some kind of new chemistry. But sometimes a lot of us choose the wrong man. You know, and, and, and I show you guys, some of you guys, I show you guys certain things and look for certain things. When coming to men, I'm not against the men because my job is only to help women find love. That's it. You understand? Yeah, I always tell you guys, if a woman wants to find love, you go to a man. If a man wants to find a woman, you go to a woman. A woman understand her next woman, no matter what. Men understand men. So if you're a woman trying to find love, you need to go to a man who specializes in, in this type of work. And I have 38 years experience to help people find true love when the time comes. But you have to listen. But the only thing I, I don't like with us, we just jump in emotionally first. 
and I'm trying to, to, to save you guys thousands of dollars in the back end. I've seen where people have to have to do certain things. They get involved. I've seen where clients where, where in the past, where in the past, where I tell them, do not get involved with these men. And they try to take their life three, four times. Both of this man, the man emotion. Sometimes some women attract men who's, who's emotionally um, unattached. And they keep repeating this cycle because they might be suffering from abandonment issues and different things from young and different things. A lot of people are suffering from different things. So they keep running to these different types of men. But I don't do relationships in the public like that. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, it's a case by case basis, um, basis. You know, that's why when coming to my charm school, you got to have your resources, you know. So um, that's how it is. So again, our next advanced um, prediction when coming to Christina Hart and Joshua Hall, this was destined to fail. We call it in advance. And um, this is a lesson I'm trying to tell you guys, man. Be careful. Some people go into relationships and they rebound because she see her ex-husband, um, Tariq, um, I think her ex-husband, um, had married and went and went to a his life and everything. So sometimes too, she might just run, you know, let her get someone also too. Because a lot of people don't want to be single. And it's not nice being single in, 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 this, in this climate, especially right now. In this, you know, you know, nobody, I wouldn't advise nobody to be single. Everybody needs to find love and, and to be happy. So when coming to love and happiness and helping people find love and, and stuff like that, go to thespiritualfixer.com. But you have to hear the honest truth. Because some of you guys need might need a makeover. And I have to tell you the truth. If I see how you look in what it is and you want a certain type of man, you gotta bring the A game. You know what I mean? Men like beauty. So you have to look a certain way. If you want that man to spend money and treat you nice and what it is, some people have attitude when they tell them the truth. You know, it's not about me. You come to me. I'm not here um looking for anyone. I'm just telling you guys. When you come to me, you, you want to hear the truth. If you want to hear the truth, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to watch it from here to toe and tell you, this is, what, this is all the stuff you need to do. And if you're sensitive and you don't want to hear the truth, stay by yourself. You know, and, and that's just the honest truth. So again, guys, man, our next advanced one, wish you best for Christina. We see that she will find someone new again. She's going to go on and find someone new. Let's hope that she make better choices, stronger choices. Because when we look at Josh, he, he wasn't the type. She need. She needs someone a little more alpha male because one coming to um, cancers, you know, cancers can be a little needy sometimes. They want that assurances all the time now. Sometimes, you know, Vogos sometimes I know how it is, you know. Um, they can be tapped out. They want someone to fix up. So um, that's how that's how Vogos are, you know. Vogos men, they like people to fix up. They, they always want to fix. So she tapped out. Maybe she's not getting the attention which she really wanted. And um, things change, you know. But this was destined to fail. And uh, our next advanced prediction, we see it in advance. You want to know things in advance, go to spiritualfixer.com. That's it. Bye.